it begins with an empty stage. The lights dim. In a dark room, even one lamp sheds light. Join me in welcoming Doris Kearns Goodwin. Majora Carr, Frank McCourt, we have been David Brooks, Brooks. Really the solution. Malcolm Gladwell, now that's weird. Vandanya Shiva, Bill McKibben, species like ours, Cory Booker. Wow. And they start talking. I think in many ways it is the worst of times. It's as simple as that. And all of a sudden they see all these quail. They can fill a room with laughter that's or leave an audience in awe. We all have this decision, either to accept conditions as they are or take responsibility for changing them. They come to answer our questions and challenge our community. Life is larger when you care about public issues. I don't think you guys are saying anything different. Some would say they are the brightest and best thinkers of our time. Shakespeare is full of action, so in the field. The great American idea that unlimited choice is the best thing in the world is just turns out to be wrong. Others might see a revolutionary. They're looking at you. They're watching you. There's nothing like it in the world. They all have the power to shift our world ever so slightly. Arts educate the emotions. It's actually key to community building. Placemaking changes everything. We say when you focus on place, you do everything different. And I have huge hope in the human capacity to make leaps in their consciousness and leaps in their way of living. When it comes to solving our hardest problems, we think we need to rely on the expertise of our leaders. We don't. We need to rely on the humility of our leaders. And in the end, our horizons grow a bit wider and we see a little clearer. The possibility that I saw here was incredibly thought-provoking. The George T. Hunter Lecture Series, Big Ideas for Chattanooga.